Well, I have got an absolute delight for you today. A brake pass series here from the Jameson Lynx at the Port Marnock Resort. The hotel behind us and then the new layout of the Lynx golf course out there that we're gonna go and play today. I got Bernie here with me. This is an association with Shot Soap. So all the information that you're gonna see from all the assets that we put up on the screen is gonna be from ShotScope. So a big thank you to ShotScope for helping us present this break pass series. Now for me, I always think when you come to a Lynx golf course, you've gotta go out and enjoy yourself. And going off the back tees does not always present itself as the most enjoyable experience. So, Would you agree with that? So you brought me all the way to Ireland yeah. and you're gonna play me off the four tees. Well, no, actually, we're not. A little bit disappointed. Well, that's I? fine, because what's going to happen is I'm going to go off the forward tees and you're going to go off the back tees. These, so, these sort of shenanigans would not happen on my channel. We'd be playing back tees. Yeah. I'd like a test of golf down. I'd like to put myself under severe pressure. Yeah. I don't want to rock up here off the forward tees and shoot seven under par. 335 yards to get us going with. Quite generous, actually, generous. Bernie, but there's a little burn. It's about 240 off the tee to that, get to that burn, but it is downwind. And we're off an elevated tee. So and we're off an elevated tee, and yard it's shot, probably really. going to be landing on a bit of a downslope, therefore kicking it forward. So I would say four iron is the number. The just line straight. is... Not, not inside that bunker, Just is it? inside the... Uh, just inside the graveyard, really. I think that's perfect. Bounding, isn't it? Crikey, you wouldn't want to hit much more than that. No, think. you didn't even give that too much of a no, clout either, did you? Steered it forward, Dan. Oh, look at the um, just take the waves crashing and breaking onto the beach. Look at that. Awesome. Beautiful, isn't it? Pity we're going to spoil it by playing golf. Absolutely <laughs> beautiful. Oh, good shot, good strike, Dan. Has that got to settle down, buddy? Oh no, that's fine. It's oh, good. It's good. Great shot. And we're off. Lovely. Just another 89 more to hit. <laughs> Just another, yeah. <laughs> 140, well, 146 where that ball is. Shot scope telling us. So that pin looks like it's pretty much bang in the middle, Burns. Just take you up there. Which is. Um, that's the water hazard or the stream we were trying to avoid. Bunk is guarding right. Slightly looks like it wind, kicks a bit left to right. Probably wants to go where that gent is between him. And the stick, I would say you're going with a nine or an eight. I've got nine, yeah, because it's downwind. I'm going to go more at the um, left of the flag, so I'm not really going to flirt with those no. bunkers too much. We're at the par is today, Bernie. Five over? Five over, yeah. Five, Five or six over. This wind. Gone right at it, Dan. Sit down. Sit. Not going at it, gone straight at it. Sit, sit, sit. Yeah. Right in the middle of the green. A solid start for a break pass series. In fact, most of my starts in a break pass series are pretty good. It's when, it, um, it's when we get under par is the problem, because then we flap a little bit. I'm going wedge, 136, 135 is my club, wind across, probably could have hit slightly more back actually. Off the tee? Yeah, maybe, another 20 yards we've got. Oh, we? might kind of, if you only got a wedge in your hand, I always think it's nice to go into certainly these greens downwind with a little bit more of a full swing, therefore it gives you the spin. Yeah, but I'd rather hit lob wedging. How would you? Okay. Oh, dead aim. I thought the wind would drift it. Oh, go in. It's hard to see, it's a yellow ball oh, yeah, into the sun, isn't here, it? But yeah. A couple of nice looks at Bird here on the first. Got it surrounded, haven't we? Yeah. I've got a little marker. I don't know if you can punch in on my marker there, Bernie. But okay, when yeah. you turn up and play these delightful Lynx courses, anybody who plays here gets a little bag with a little pitch mark repair, a little bag tag and a little ball marker. I think I could do with more golf balls. <laughs> yeah, you could have done with a sleeve in there, couldn't you? Okay, a little out the left. I think the putting green well. scared me. Scared me. Fraction's short, but that is an easy that putting part green the first. Really scared me. 17 more required. 17 more of them, and I'll be very happy. <laughs> so Port Marnock Resort and the Jameson Golf Lynx has been rebranded because when I first played here back in the day of well five years ago or so, it was called Port Marnock Lynx. They've redone some of the holes. And it is absolutely delightful, which I will share okay. with you as we dead go around. Dead straight, I think. Happy Bernie? It's going to go dead straight. 
Those ankles might be getting some sunburning today. Nope. Mm, little shover. Pushed it. Little shover. Shoved it way right. Well done. Okay. Uh, shoved it. Two pars to start. Let's get us going with anyway. Yeah. And Bernie's having a little practice. Second hole. It's only 3.30ish, something like that, off this... Uh, there's a little this white tee, 344 actually. There's a bunker up there, so I don't want to bunker up. Well, there's lots of bunkers. There's yeah. A bunker up the left is 230 to get over it, or 225 yeah, to get over it. Yeah, I'm going to play short of that, and then and then the ones after it are 260. Yeah. So, so go you're going to go with the four iron. Just going to try and get position. Yeah. That's pretty good. Is that? I can't get the trap, can it? Shouldn't get to the trap, should it? Although it is running like it could. <laughs> My got there. No. Well, it looked a little bit right of it, so yeah. I'm hoping you've missed that right. I was hoping it was short as well, but hit my Sunday best on a fr on a Thursday, Dan. Yeah. Right, were you obviously trying to fly that, get it past it? Well, it just gives me a better option, to, an option to get over it if I get get yeah. older one as it's downwind, doesn't it? I think. I'm hoping I've flown that, it. Bernie. That's got to go. Don't know. Oh, that was right on the edge, wasn't it? I on just caught it, it yeah, nail in the sure. toe. Not is... sure. Find out in a minute. Felt good. I cannot believe what's happened here. Just, I needed a bit of help with that wind. I didn't get it, and I'm in the trap. Bernie's got himself into a perfect spot, laid up just short with that four iron. I'm a little bit in between it. What, how far have you got? 125. This is the 120 club. It is downwind, but you don't want to be coming up short left, do you? So I'm going to hit the 50. Into that gap is the plan. Right at the flag. Yeah, not even, I'm not even looking at that flag. So I've gone straight at it. What, what am I doing, man? Get up. Oh. Well, you got it just. You are literally. It's a little bit long. Flag hunting today. I, don't know, I wasn't meant to be there. No, I know. Yeah, it's a bit pulley. <laughs> Look how far my divot's gone. Yeah, off you go. It's gone nearly as far as the ball. It's important here not to try. If you're ever playing these type of golf courses and you get severity of slope, it's important not to try and take too much off it. Get it back into play, like Dan has done. Play it over to the right side to give him. It is the best so, angle to the pin. I have already, Bernie, accepted a bogey. Yeah, but you could easily, if you tried to hit like not enough lofts and left it in there and had a oh, couple yeah. more hacks, you're gonna make like, you're bringing high numbers into play. Yeah, but I think bogey's already the number and if I get a par then it's a bonus and I just have to make it up as I go around, don't I? Yeah. Another hole. Six, isn't it? Dan's got 108 yards. 56 degree wedge I've got, Bernie. I wanted to get as far over to the right as I possibly could so it gives you the better angle so you're not really having to go over bunkers yeah. like you, you had to. Give me some spin. Down it, down it. Give me bit. some spin. Spin. That's spin. really good. Just spin. right at the stick. Good opportunity now to make par by playing percentages. Okay. Shot, mate. Got a chance of a par. Yeah. It's down there, look. Lovely shot. And I'm just towards the back of the green. I would say it's not downhill, but it's definitely out of your right hand oh, side. Oh yeah, 100%. You can see how it's sloping from right to left as we look back. Slightly into the breeze as well, so that is something to factor in, I guess. Go on then, go on then, go on no. then. Oh. I let it look. Right, that's good enough, Benny. Okay, thank Take you. that away. Anything inside is kind of his Bernie's grip is fine. Solid par. Well done. This will be a lovely little save early on, I think. So this is like again. I've already made my bogey. This is a Brucey if I uh, yeah if I make this. A little bit of break that's, from that's what's going from through his my right, brain. Our left as we look. Probably inside the hole though. Great for. Beautiful. That is an absolute Brucey. Well man. done. Brucey bonus. A little Brucey bonus to get us going with. Oh, it could be a good day. <laughs> Bit of an early shout. <laughs> now there's a beautiful little story behind the logo 
on the tea boxes. Let's have a catch up with Paul and see what he has to tell us about it. Yeah, this monument here, um, so you'll see on the on the crest here, it says Luxembourg Pax. So that's the light, Latin for light, love and peace. So the Jameson family um, became very good friends with quite a lot of royalty and famous people. So Edward VII gifted um, this as a wedding gift. Um, so when the Jameson and Hague families came together, it was obviously a big deal at the time. Um, so you'll see the date on the bottom of it there, 1907. Um, so that's another part of the Jameson family legacy that's left behind. If you swing around then and look at the building behind us, you'll see the crest on the roof. And that's the, uh, the ship, which is our Jameson crest now. And um, if you look at every Jameson bottle of whiskey, you'll always see a ship on it because that's their family crest. 178 yards. No, 68. 168 yeah. yards, okay. 178 is my five iron Bernie, but it is into, I would say, a two club minimum two club win today. I've got six on, I don't know if it's getting there now. Looks further, doesn't it? Five iron probably the club. And that is not it. Bunker. Way short. Oh my goodness. I've hit it up, bit awful. Look at my That's, hit, look uh, at my divot. Eh? Is that my divot? No. That's your divot there, yeah. That across? Yeah. Crikey, that Exit is not left. good. That is way left. Oh, I was thinking it was quite easy downwind, not so sure now we've gone into it. Oh my word, I don't, I don't feel like the downwind affected the ball as much as it just did into wind there. Uh, to be honest, it was a horrendous strike, but was I would it? probably say you need four, right? That's what have we got? got? I'm not hitting five wood in this wind. No. It's going to be a back foot four iron, I think. Oh, I love please the go. Please go, please go, please go, please go, please go, please go. Oh, God. It's up, isn't it? It's, it's a great shot. over that trap, Bernie. It's a great shot, Dan. Absolutely clambered Controlled over it that beautifully. trap there. Trapped it. I trapped that. Do you think the luck of the Irish could be with me today? <laughs> you think so? I don't know. I think I that was so. a lucky one, that lucky break for me there. I'm just glad that bunker's situated a good sort of 10, 15 paces short of the green, because I think if it was up close and personal, it would be a little bit on the... Sandy side. Okay, what are you going know, with? I don't know whether to chuck it. Got 48 yards to the middle of that green. That Pins kind of on the frontish. It's a small green, isn't it? I'm going to play a little late iron and just bounce it up the contours of the green, yeah. hopefully. I like it. Come on up, you go then. Set up. That's really good. Bernie, that's really good. Take that, it's a chance, isn't it? Cool. You take that, wouldn't you? But, yeah. Not giving the old. There is not a lot in it between the two putts there, but Bernie's just going to go first. Yours. And hopefully secure his beautiful path. shot. Never an aid out, was it? That's a great up oh, and down. Take that. Were you a fan of take that? I, yeah, I, I, I'm going to say I was a bit. It's one of my guilty pleasures, I'd say. You like that, to take that? That and Backstreet Boys. Yeah, Backstreet Boys are good. Very underrated American band for anybody who's not heard of them. What, Backstreet Boys? Yeah. You think anyone's not heard of Backstreet yeah. Boys? I would say some of our older audience and some of our younger ones may not have. Okay. Just going to want to wiggle a little bit that way, I think. Oh, God, it just went, didn't it? Went early, didn't it? Absolutely went on me, that. Well done, nicely tied up. Oh, I just, just wiggled a lot, that did. Anyway, hey ho, I am more than happy to be level par through three holes. Yeah, me too. And I was very lucky on the tee shot, so you got to take the rough with the smooth, haven't you? Yeah, definitely. A little gem we, in, the, in the buggy, isn't so it? So we've got two two things there. We've got Dan marking a manual card with, with manual. a pencil. Yeah, And Old we've school. also got a little bit of digital here, provided by the buggy. Which I've not seen one like this before. Yes, so uh, this asked us if we want to put our scores in, of which we do. We do, yeah. Today is that day. Yeah, Fourth hole, 512 metres from this tee box, 564 of the finest yards. Driver, please, Bernie. Driver. Driver yeah. I know yeah. it's all coming back to you, but have you actually played it before? Yeah, 2000. I reckon it was either 209 or 2010. 
Okay. So a fair way, a fair time ago. A few of those um, holes have changed, Bernie. When we get around yeah. to about seven or eight, it starts to really shift around a little bit. Not that you can remember any of these anyway. No, I've not remembered the first three, I'll be honest. I, I do remember this one though, don't hit it right. That's what I do remember. Okay. Uh, not faded at all. It's fine out there, isn't it? This is where it might gather it. No, it's short, it's okay. It's left of the trap. Yeah, it's, well, it's on line of the trap, but short. I was expecting it to move a bit more, I'm not gonna lie, but. It's just at that trap, isn't it? And let it do its. Uh... Yeah. That's why I was trying to hit it. I Do just, its thing from there, from really. Too far left. Oh yeah, absolutely. It needs to ripped. run like buggery. Look at that, perfect. Yeah, just up the right side. Well, I'll do what that is, by the way. Oh, what a day this it's all is coming turning back out to, isn't it? It's turning out to be a lovely day. We've had a lovely lunch. Sa I went for the sour bread. Is it yeah. sour bread? I don't know. It's, it's kind of like a bit sandwich. more. It's kind of a bit more oily than like normal bread, but oh, some of those oils are good for you. They are very good for you. Good for your joints, Bernie. It's 200 and it's over, well, 300 nearly, yards. Yeah, nearly 300 yards. So Shots I'm just going to hit. 305 to the middle, Bernie. I want to hit this round about 200 to leave myself somewhere between 90 and 110. So I'm going to hit six iron at those traps you can see in the distance on the left. Yeah. And the idea of this is he's giving, keeping himself away from the bunkers because there is. And I'm trying to play to yardage four, alike. Five, six, about seven or eight down there. Oh no! It's heading towards them. Pushed it. Tell me you're short of them. It's in it. Might be short, isn't it? Don't know. Don't know. Ter I expect not it. Not sure. A little oh my popped God. out a little right. That is not good. I've just seen right. my divot in there. Dan is having a little pop at this. I'm not New popping. Free, I don't think I can get to the green, but I want to just get it as close as I can. Yeah. Dublin Airport, not very far away from here. I'm going to bail out a little bit left because there is out of bounds up the right, so I don't really want to get it rolling on the wind too much. So keep it kind of at that bunker and then let it slide off of that, but just try and hit it as basically as hard as I can, really. Oh, Dan, is it coming? No, it's staying. Oh, I love Good this strike, though. You might see it it's heading towards that trap. Yeah. Might be I left think that's, of it. No, done what I wanted it to do it's just hopefully I'm not now chipping over that bunker, hot bunker yeah well we've both done it now we've both made that no. silly little error how far have you actually got? 107 Dan um, 107 yeah one so it's just forward of center the thing is it doesn't play that yard is so if you the play good thing it, about this is Bernie's actually got a relatively small lip to deal with yeah. And so it means that you can just clip it a little bit and then hopefully not. Well, it shouldn't get anywhere near that lip, really. I'm playing 58. And just hopefully the wind and all the factors that are making the yeah, ball go forward it. will come into play. Still on top of the sand, not burying my feet in. Because I do want to take it a bit cleaner. Ah, oh, a bit fat. Chunky. Okay. Very fat. All right, chip and a putt needed. Yeah. Something that um, Jack Nicholas uh, used to say, certainly about his open championships, yeah. was whatever you do, either go over them or play well short of them. Do you remember, um, where was it? gather up where? from the fairways even, these bunkers. Where was it where, where Tiger avoided every bunker in the four rounds, didn't he? And he won the, I can't remember where it was. It was St Andrews, wasn't it? Which was ridiculous, apparently, because they do gather bunkers. I've got 58 now. There's a lot of bunkers around St Andrews. Yeah. 59 yards. Sit. 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 Yeah, not bad, then. Take it. Not bad at all. Kind of getting rid of that false front there. Got to get it up there because it comes back to you, if not. Yeah. This is not good, is it? Well, it was a good three-wood, wasn't it? But it was a good three-wood, but unfortunately, we are faced, or Dan is faced with this. Downwind as well, don't forget. Pin is there. Do you know what I'm gonna go with? I'm gonna go for my inspirational short game in the Irish par three that we played <sighs> yesterday. I think you've used up all your, um, all your shots around there. It was you think I did? Yeah. <laughs> like, you remember I was really going off the mat? You need a mat there. I need a good mat, don't I? And I didn't have a 50, I didn't have a 60, did I? I was using 56s, wasn't I? 
Yeah. Oh, oh damn. Me. Bounced. Stop. Bounce of the club. That was terrible, Bernie. Oh, this is not. Can we go and play it again? Huh? Let's go and quickly rush back and play it again. Play it all again. Yeah. What are we doing? Uh, Still putting them, I think. It's a panic from the top, isn't it? So you, what happens is you get it up here and then you, you panic here, and then you lean your body into it, and then you basically just deal off the club so much. You've got to let the club slide underneath. Okay, all right. Out to the right. It's kind of out by your marker out there. Yeah. And then uh, let it feed in off of there into wind, which is. Kind of a good thing, I think. I think that's got to go, isn't it? Trying to down come that now, hill. Is it? It's trying. Oh, I'll keep going. Not bad. It's done all right. It just didn't move at no, all, it did it? Stayed exactly where you hit it. Stayed dead straight. That. It was in anywhere near as much as I felt it would do. Definitely no. from the right, though. Yeah, I think it's down the wiggle hill. a little bit off that right side. Not hit it down. It goes that way, Bernie. Just uh, pardon? It actually wants to move uh, that way slightly. It was unfortunately one that I couldn't really roll at the hold no. because it's down off the green if you miss it. It almost looks like. Wow. Well, it could almost wiggle either way. I mean, I've got a favour the left half, but this could go left. Trust the line. Great part. Knees went. Good ball save fell in. in the end. Well done. Oh, that, that was a disaster, wasn't it? Or could have been. Well, it was for me. Terrible. Oof. Downwind, easy par five. Six. Yeah, made it look difficult. We've got a trap down here on the left-hand side. Yeah. What do you got? Aim point, 258 from 440, here. It's actually 441, Bernie, from this tee yeah. to the centre of that green. Um, I'm just going to take it at the right edge of that trap. I don't want it going out the trap now because I can reach that trap. So I want it at the right edge of that trap and then let it slide off of that. It's a lovely drive down. Don't try to move too much. Too much? I need a little bit of chase now, Bernie, no, don't really I? Good, that. I? I actually don't think... Yeah, I like the driver with you. I'm just going to aim at that trap and hopefully slide it. And if I don't slide it, I'm hoping I've got enough carry. Well, I, if I was caddying for you, I wouldn't just get you... I'd aim you right at that trap. Yeah, that's the problem. Just a fraction right at that trap is the, is the line. Between the trap in the distance and that trap. Because okay. if you hit it straight, you'll get to that bunker. No, I'll be over it, I think. Today. Downwind. 2.5. Yeah, I'll be over that. 2.58. Just inside it, ideally. Straight over it. We're going to see because that is on it. It's over it. <laughs> Straight it's in not, it. It's, that's definitely not 258, that 258. track. 258. I absolutely killed that. Didn't see the water there. You saw it, no. didn't you? I was a little bit concerned about this. Dan didn't see it. Runs all down the right hand side of this hole. This is the first bit I actually remember the golf course. Is it? Yeah. I've, yeah. lost, I've lost track now where I am. 197 flag, 187 middle, so it's just slightly back of that. Slightly helping? It's helping, but I think it's off like your left shoulder going across. Look yeah, at the I've pin. Got, I've got five iron. Little walk after it again. Uh, yeah, I was off a bit of a downslope there. That's a really good sit shot. Down, sit, sit, keep sit, coming, steady. keep coming. Steady, steady. Keep steady. moving steady. around. That's really steady. good. Getting better all the stop, time. Stop, that. stop. Stop now. I reckon that's long, Bernie. Unless there's a bit of green behind there that I can't see. Yeah, but I don't here. think you're too far from the pin, Dan. I'd be more than happy with that. Pro the, the, what you got to remember with links is anything landing just short generally skips forward and skips up, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, Bernie's ball is in a little bit of a sandy grave there. Yeah. He actually did have quite a little bit of room to the left of this trap, but. That's all we could see was that, so you couldn't see that there was much room there. I've got to get it out, haven't I, actually, to be honest. I think I'm more concerned to get it out. Back over there. I want yeah, to be back in, back in play. You've, you know, like I said, I'm a second, you know? Yeah. Make your bogey and run away. Just got to make sure we don't... We Take pick a line and we don't go too far right, because there is water over there. Yeah, it's out. Back in play. Okay, still skipping forwards. It's going to leave That'll you about do, yeah. 20 yards or so. Bernie and I just chatting about his yeah. approach off the tee there. 
still like the driver in his hand because it you know you got two options you're going to have the risk off the tee or the risky second shot and if you lay up way short of everything you're going to be left 220 230 yards in you're still going to be going in with long long clubs I've got 132 you got? yards wedge 132 135 my wedge um i just don't think 50 gets there i'm a little bit concerned that yours ran on really ran yeah. through so White, I suppose. Oh, I love that. Be the number. Hoping it's going to nip. Get in. Oof. Danny's dancing. It's too much. Could be two delightful pars. Mine on the no, second think, and yours on this I think I'm quite a bit hole. short there. Still got a chance though. Dan's a bit unlucky though. He's just literally caught this down slope. Almost dead weight and rolled to the bottom of it. Really good five iron he's hit in second shot. Could have been where he's putting or practice putting from, but Texas wedging, Bernie. Not too bad, is it? No, it's all right. It's... The beauty of this place is round the surrounds of the greens. It's so well manicured and so like tightly cut that you can get putter on quite a lot of them, which is not too penalised by missing a green at times. Just going to drift left. Jesus, that was a bit short. Won't be happy with that one. That's not good, was it? Okay, Bernie. Try and just pace, really. Get a five, get out of here. Got to hit it, Dan. You've got to hit it. Yeah. You've got to hit it. Ah! Little tester. Tester for Leicester. Tester for... <laughs> <laughs> Feel like... If anyone deserves to make four, it's you. Yeah. Come on, one good putt. No, stay there. No, no. Good enough. Five. Oh. Lucky. Don't let it affect you. No, You're never gonna let it affect me. You're more than. Feel like I've uh, got away with a little bit of. Uh, you're more than capable of making birdie Fortune. on the next. Fortune. Tapping in for Bernie's five as well. What are we doing? Take it away. Okay. Out we move move on to the sixth. I remember this hole as well. Do you remember it? Yeah. I don't so, remember the first few, but I'm starting to remember the. I remember the bunkers, the lines of the bunkers. Sixth hole is a is a well from this tee is 500 yards. Um, into the wind, so we're not getting there, into are we? Yeah, into wind, so this is, a, I was just trying to get to my kind of uh, bunkers. So first bunker down the right is 230 to carry, no, 216, then 230. So up, kind of at the, um, I think it's at the far bunker on the left is the line for us today. Yeah. Oh, damn, that is an absolute rip. I don't you lit anything better than that today. There you go, absolutely perfect. Great the one. Right. There's a lot of planes taking off, isn't there? Yeah. Busy Actually, airport. Every, it feels like every Didn't realise it was such a busy airport. Out. Yeah, that's that's kind of the trap that I was kind of talking about. No, I think we're reaching that today. No, I think that's as good as I can hit it. It's nowhere near it. Good hit. <laughs> 200. Well, 263 to the f for the middle, Bernie. It's miles down, I'm in driver. Just to try and get one. Try and left of that, sort of left of that right, the trap that's in front of the green and just hopefully run it up somewhere. Let it feed 20 in. 20 yards short, I reckon. Oh yeah, these drivers off the deck are easy, aren't they? It's just got to fade a little bit. Keep going. Go on. Did it cut enough? Yeah, it's just like 30 short. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. It's a long way, isn't it? It's really so, easy to hit these drivers off the deck, yeah. aren't they? These PXGs. PXGs, no, I think they're designed for it. Designed for off the deck. <laughs> DOD PXG. DODs off the deck. DODs. Just wandering round. I'm going to get Dan from his best angle, <laughs> only from the fact that there's a massive sand dune in the way. So if I, I got stand the same here, yardage, I should see the green. Same yardage as you. Yeah. Um, I'm going to just hit driver as well. Try and chase Probably one down out of there. Range, I'd say, into this wind. I've drawn it, I've got it a bit in the bit left. It. Maybe down. toe strike. 
Don't That's okay. Just got a yeah, full shot right. in, Bernie. Toe strike? Yeah, just caught it a little in the toe. It snipped it a bit left on me. Be all right. Be fine. It'll pitch up the green. Easy for four. <laughs> easy five. Easy, easy five. Six. Good easy, six. <laughs> easy for you to say. Seven. <laughs> so Dan is. I probably you probably would have got it front edge. I reckon if you'd have been a little straighter. You're right. I think I could have got it there with a little bit of chase. Go on up you go, don't dig in on me. Just dug in, didn't oh, I? Oh, I had a little bit of Douglas there, didn't I? Makeable. It was still a little bit, 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 bit yippy. It's not your... Um, not my finest spot, is it? No, not at the moment, no. A wet, anywhere, a little bit I, of a tough time going on. It, well, it's tough area, when, you, when you've got far, four wedges in your bag and you're mm. having a tough time with your wedges, you know? I, do you know why I carry, I carry like that many wedges? So that once I duff it with one, I can go on to the next. And then by the time I get round, I've used every wedge in the bag. Right. Little linksy, little linksy eight iron up the hill. Little linksy chaser. All up the hill. It's really good. Stop. No, it's gone. Oh, it's probably a runoff behind yeah. you. Didn't notice that. I should have gone another. Did you hit there? Little seven iron. The late iron. Little I thought it was good iron. when I played it. Just kept going. Oh, I can didn't see. It? You can see it now. There's a runoff behind yeah. it. Should have gone up and had a look. Really. An outside chance yeah. of a birdie. Outside par, chance. Isn't it? Par five, is it? Par five, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was a par four. What, driver, driver? Well, <laughs> we're getting older, aren't we? Things are not getting easier. It doesn't get easier as you get older, this game. We're well over the hill, as they say, in golfing terms. Would you oh, have done, a par five, would, is it? Would you have done anything different now that you know it's par five? No, definitely no, not. Definitely not. I thought it was a par four and I was trying to get it on there in two. Stay high, stay high, stay high. <sighs> Had a look, didn't it? <coughs> Easy it was, part, um, don't. Wasn't a great deal of movement on it, but anyway, it steadies the ship after the little uh, Back blip on, on the last. Yes. I can really see that ridge now as you go past the hole. To be fair, you'd have to get right up here to see it, wouldn't you? There you go, straight up. Come on, 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 come on. Birdie time! Good par four. Well done, you. Thanks. <laughs> driver, driver, flick, flick with an up. eight iron in with can't, the putt. Can't get it into the hole from a foot and a half, but I can ram it in from 30 foot. What a silly game. Why do we play it? Why do we do it to ourselves? <laughs>